Hi, and welcome to End the Fed's Nuclear Dawn tutorial. This is Nuclear Dawn Help 102, and without any further delay, let's discuss the four classes you have at your disposal. This is a brief shot of the tutorial already provided in the game, but I'm going to narrate it for you. The first class is the EXO, a powerful unit with lots of health and wields a chain gun. There are only two subclasses for this unit. His massive health also means he can take up to two grenades before going down. Another weakness is that he moves very slowly. Press the F key and your EXO goes into the lockdown position. He'll be unable to move, but bullets are fired at maximum speed and accuracy is slightly increased. Once the commander researches advanced kits at the armory, the EXO can select his second subclass and use siege kits. In this example, you can see how effective a consortium EXO can take out structures very quickly. On the opposite end of the spectrum you have the Stealth. They also possess only two subclasses, armed with either a sniper rifle and a pistol, or a basic submachine gun and blades, stealth units are useful at taking out EXOs and capturing resource points. All stealth units can cloak themselves for a short period of time by pressing the F key. Stealth units equipped with blades need to be cloaked when they sneak up perfectly behind a player and stab him for a one-hit kill. To help keep stealth units in check is the assault. They have two subclasses, an assault rifle or a sniper rifle, and after the commander researches advanced kits at the armory, can pick a third subclass, a grenade launcher. All assaults have thermal vision which can see stealth's heat signature even while cloaked by pressing the F key. Finally, there are the support engineers. They have two subclasses, a medic or an engineer. After the commander researches advanced kits at the armory, they can pick a third subclass called the barbecue kit. Medics can drop health packs to heal themselves or any other player. Engineers can use EMP grenades to disable structures and also have blow torches that can heal friendly structures just as fast as they can destroy enemy structures. Barbecue kit engineers are equipped with numerous grenades and a close range blow torch. The blow torch can't kill units right away but steadily does damage as long as the unit is on fire. Next we will discuss gizmos. Gizmos are uh, basically add-ons that kind of give small bonuses to your units. It's kind of similar to Call of Duty Modern Warfare but a little bit different. As you can see here I'm going to select the assault and you can see the three subclasses infantry, grenade unit, and marksman kit. Um, basically you have a set of kits here. This is everything that the assault will have. Uh, you know, either bullet piercing rounds, uh, silencer, uh, like a speed upgrade or called sprinter. I have it right now at level one. Uh, next one you also have is going to be a weapon stabilizer. Now basically what I'm showing you here is this set of kits that you're going to get with all these classes uh, but we're going to review that in just a bit but I do want you to get an idea of what kits are available for each of these units. Please just uh, follow along. I'm going to put the mouse over all of the kits so that way you can see exactly uh, a description of these kits and then we'll go ahead and review each one in detail. Now that you've seen the gizmos in game, now we're going to talk about those gizmos individually. First we start off with general gizmos. These are gizmos that everybody has, it's the same for all the classes. Then the remaining other gizmos are added on on top of the general gizmos. 
Now, none of these images are my own. They're actually supplied by wiki.nucleardonthegame.com and special thanks to IW Ben for supplying me this website. First, we're going to have several of the general gizmos. We have armor piercing. It's um, on rank. Lock is, is ready for you as soon as you play the game. It basically increases damage against exos, but decreases damage against all the other classes. Next general gizmo will be magazine compression. There are two levels of this. Basically, if you use one more often, then you'll eventually move up to level two. Level one will increase 120% magazine capacity, and then level two basically increases it up to 140% uh, magazine capacity. Next gizmo is, is advanced munitions. This also has two levels. First level slightly increases damage with all of your weapons overall. Level 2 moderately increases the damage of all of your weapons. Next we'll have the silencer. Uh, this adds a silencer attachment. Basically it makes all of your bullets very quiet. It also reduces the muzzle flash so that way people will not be able to see you from the other side of the map as well. Then we have weapon stabilizer. This adds an optical scope and this basically uh, reduces a little bit of kickback and also your bullets don't fly off in different directions as much. Then we have tactical regeneration. Basically, as you see here, the description is very slow health generation when stationary. Basically, you have to hold still for a while, and every 30 seconds, it gives you 100 hit points. Next, we move on to the exo gizmos. Again, these gizmos are added on to the general gizmos for the exo. You have armadillo, level 1 and level 2. Level 1 basically increases your, dam your resistance to damage by 7.5%. Level 2 increases it by 15%. Next we have Siege Specialist, level 1 and level 2. Level 1 does slightly reduces the amount of time it takes for you to reload. Basically you got a little bit of re less reload time and then a little bit more less reload time. Next we have Home Wrecker. This is increased structure damage. This is a really really good one for blowing up structures. This is the best kit to have. Of course as you can see damage 10% for the X01 and 20% for the M95. Next we're going to move on to Stealth Gizmos. These three gizmos are in addition to the general gizmos. We have melee specialist, level 1 and level 2. Level 1 slightly increases backstab damage, level 2 moderately increases it. Next we have the Chameleon, level 1 and level 2. Level 1 increases your cloaking time by an additional 2.5 seconds. Level 2 increases your cloaking by an additional 5 seconds. And finally we have Nano Lungs. Uh, this gizmo, basically whenever you're aiming, uh, and sometimes it looks like your gun tends to wiggle or move, or they call it the breathing effect, that is completely gone with this gizmo. Next we're going to move on to the assault gizmos. Again, these three gizmos are in addition to your general gizmos. First we have advanced inventory level 1 and level 2. Level 1 increases your magazine count. Level 2, again, you know, you'd be able to carry a little bit more ammunition than level 1, obviously. Then we have Sprinter level 1 and level 2. First, level 1 increases your movement by 10%. Level 2 increases it by 20%. You know, basically, at level 2, an assault almost runs as fast as a stealth. Then, finally, we have Kinetic Field. As the description says very clearly, it deflects the first source of damage, and it takes a long time to regenerate.
Then we'll move on to our support gizmos, the support class, excuse me. We have smooth operator, level one and level two. Uh, all this does is this actually increases your healing and repairing rate. In other words, if you're healing a building, it heals it a little bit quicker. At level two, it heals it even more quicker than level one, obviously. Then we have the bunny gizmo, level one and level two. Level one gives you an extra grenade. Level two gives you two extra grenades. So in other words, if you're the barbecue kit and you're at level two, you will carry a total of 10 grenades altogether. And then finally we have the support warfare gizmo. What this does is it moderately increases the damage of your grenades and your weapons. This concludes Nuclear Dawn Help 102. Comment, subscribe, or follow please, and uh, share your own experiences. Thank you.